Uh, we have a couple of new guests here, and I'm very excited about this because as it gets closer to 2016, you know that what's going to come up that first Tuesday in November, Election Day. Oh, it is so exciting, and we have a, a candidate for something. I don't have the information here. Oh, uh, Scott, I, I'm a, a candidate for president. Of the United States. Of the United States of America. Oh, okay. Well, please yeah. welcome, uh, I have your name, uh, Rick. Rick Bick. Rick Bick. Rick Bick. Hello, uh, Rick. Hi. It's so uh, nice to meet you. Pleasure. Thank you so much for having me on. And I, I You're just, a candidate you know, for president of the United president States? President of the United States of America. Which party are you running under? Right are you now, I'm running under the Independent Party. Okay, fantastic. Uh, and we're just so excited. Uh, I, you know, I want America to know, and I want your audience to know that I am I am running not under my family's wealth. You know, uh, Family's I, wealth? Yes, we're part of the BIC fortune, the BIC pens. Look in your hand, and that's probably a BIC. Even if it says paper made, I, it's a BIC. I looked at both of my hands. I'm not holding anything. Well, if you were holding a pen or a pencil, it would probably be a big. Okay, yeah. Are you, so, uh, who yeah. was that presidential uh, uh, nominee who? or a guy, a guy running for it who always held the pen? Oh, Bob Dole. Bob Dole, yeah. Great man. Do, was that a big? Uh, you know, we tried to get a Bic in there, um, and we, you know, and but it was a, a contractual thing, and he did go with PaperMate. He had a sponsorship uh, with deal. PaperMate, oh, yeah, that's too bad. Well, uh, so you're the heir to the Bic fortune. The Bic fortune. How big yeah. is the Bic fortune? Oh, I mean, just think about the biggest number you can think of, and just divide it by two. A hundred. Well, that's the biggest number you could think of. Well, no, it's much bigger than that. Oh, okay. Well, I'm sorry. I'm talking in in what millions, billions, We're, trillions. We what? are a, a trillion dollar corporation. I mean, ninety five percent of the pens in the United States are Bix. Are you about to cry? I oh, just I'm so goddamn blessed about to be a part <laughs> oh my of this gosh, family. Wow. Yeah, uh, yeah. So. But I, I have my campaign manager here. Oh, hello. Uh, uh, hi, Scott. It's Dick Butterfield. I just wanted to say real quick, um, Rick. There's no reason for you to swear like that because most voters are not right. Do you mean that when he said "g damn"? Well, I just feel like I feel like we're tried. on a very liberal show. I don't want to show everybody I yeah, can hang and I can talk really, shit. Whoa! Really, I can okay. you know I can like let my freak fucking flag. Fly. Whoa! Okay, I'm sorry, gosh. you know I just sorry. want to talk on your level. I like Zach Galifianakis and I like um okay. you know I've seen all the comedy films. All right, well, God, that, Rick, why don't why don't we stick to the talking points? Okay, okay. What are the talking well, points? Well, what do you want well, to talk one about? One thing we want to address right away is the sexual scandal. Yeah. Obviously. Rick has, mm -hmm. you know, if you Google him, several sexual scandals will pop up. I've uh, never, first of all, I've a never. Public masturbator. What? You're a public masturbator. A public masturbator. Okay, a lot of us are private masturbators. Yeah. I would say almost 100 percent of uh -huh. us. Rick is in treatment mm -hmm. for uh, for dealing with the issue of public masturbation. Yeah, uh, so that is being addressed. That's being addressed. I had never heard of you until you just introduced yourself. Thank but you. you already you Thank have a you scandal. So much. Well, yeah. the, if you Google him, these are all in the past. You know, Dude, this is when I was younger. In the past. Younger before now. How, how, I, how old of a man are you right now? Right now I'm 57. And when did these uh, incidents occur? Between uh, 25 and, and, and 56, 55 ish. So between some. So just a and year that, ago, these things were happening. Well, these what? are all yeah, in the past. About that, they're if you all wanna, in the past. Are, the everything past. is in the past except Every, for the present. Well, so are these scandals. And, and isn't it great <laughs> so to open are these a present? Scandals. Isn't okay. it great to open a I'm present? You can't open a past. Okay, uh, so you know the public masturbation is being dealt with. Yeah. Uh, the okay. La the lacrosse. Where team. where did you uh, like to masturbate? Oh, anywhere. Uh, you know, as long as it was in the public eye, I, I loved it. I, you know, to me, I feel like it's a the human body is a beautiful thing. Well, but you what? Know, Rick, we shouldn't be talking. Okay, yes, we, we're I, not promoting it's in the past. public. Uh, to answer your question, botanical gardens, mm -hmm. uh, public libraries, mm -hmm. water, water parks, mm -hmm. movies, mm -hmm. uh, theme rides, mm -hmm. uh, roller coasters. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, picnic uh -huh. zones, uh -huh. yeah. uh, pet right. farms, mm -hmm. pet farms, Christmas, really Christmas tree farms. Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, Christmas tree farms. That's uh, right. boy. Just I, I'm well, thinking of it. all the little the family. The Again, family is, is going all to all in the past. Certain, it's all, all in the past. I don't want to focus on the past because the past is, you know, it's in the present. Like you okay. said, you were mentioning lacrosse. What oh, there was an incident with a lacrosse team. Yeah, uh, that, that's the most recent one last year. Mm -hmm. where, uh Rick was accused of tugging on the ball sacks of everybody in this lacrosse team, which is ludicrous. Uh, wait, I mean, the opponents, or, or are you on the team? I was watching. You were just 
watching. Mm-hmm. So did you pick you picked one team? You didn't pick every player on the field? They were, uh, most of the players were on the bench at the time, and Rick allegedly <sighs> snuck under I the don't bench recall. and was, I don't was recall. Yeah, I don't tugging recall it. on their dangling testicles, which is <sighs> absurd. Recall. Why are they dangling absurd. like that? That's what I'm saying. Okay. Think about that. Let me just say something. I don't recall the incident, but if you if you were to see a bunch of young men with, with very loose ball sex, wouldn't you want to pinch him? I mean, I mean, I'm just saying I'm being very uh, well. Just, it's like when you're when you're going you're on a turkey farm, yeah, and you see you know their little Gobble waddle, gobble. yeah. You want to just fiddle with of it, don't you? Of course, yeah. Of you want to just play do. with it, yeah. So I get that. Do. I get that urge, but but uh, you know, as human beings, we are trying to what? sort of subvert those right. urges and right. rise above, and yeah. you know, we right. don't have to just give in to every you know no, earthly inclination. That. And no. that's why that's why that charge is going to go away. What I'd rather do is talk about the issues. That's why. Let's talk about the issues. Okay, what are the issues as according to you? Yeah. Uh, I, you know, and, and I and I expect this. I expect these this episode to have the same ratings as Mark Maron interviewing President Barack Obama because it's rare for yeah, a politician. What are the podcast to, ratings that you get? Uh, yeah, I, yeah, whatever uh, that show gets, I think we're at about a tenth. I, but I just, you know, I just, I feel like this is as, as important as as that interview because you don't get a, to see a politician and really. Uh, you know, a rare form like that. Okay, so yeah. what? Yeah, what? Uh, give me your rare form. What do you believe? What is your pulpit? Uh, your, you know, what is your your? Okay, no traffic on highways. No traffic? How would no you like tra- that? What do you mean? Do you mean like, oh, you get up and it's like a Sunday morning and it's yeah. like, sure, there are cars there, but you or are you talking no zero cars? Zero cars. How would anyone get? We're going to move all the people from the city into the middle of the country. Ever, ever go in the middle of the country and see how empty it is? What if we just, you know, just the same way you make a brownie, you just kind of push it all across the pan. We're just going to do that with people. Just pushing across the pan of the force, USA. Force moving. Okay. So that way, you're all going to the, spread all out the, the brown p- people. So, oh, I see. But wait a minute. So mm-hmm. you're talking about the, the, especially here in California where we tape the show. Uh, there are a lot of love uh, Californians. A lot of Californians, yeah, but uh, people from uh, other mm-hmm. countries who come in here. But they, right. you know, I mean, that's what uh, America is a melting pot, right? And you're you're saying it should be more like a brownie well, pan. But uh, like fondue, you dip it and and then it spreads all over the marshmallow. That's what I want to do. Oh, I love fondue on marshmallows, especially. What's an issue that import that's important to you? Uh, you know what? I think uh, equality, you know, oh. not only pay equality for, for genders, but also uh, just equality in how people are treated. I don't have thoughts on that one. Oh. I just, you know, for me, it's like if you if you come from, if you if you work hard. Why are you crying? I just think, What is happening right now? You have think, tears streaming down your face. Because he wants to be the president. So do you. You have the, tears streaming down be, your face. I, what is happening want, right now? Because I want Rick. Rick Bick to be the president of the United States. I come from a, a very disturbed. I, I, Guys, if you I, can't get five minutes into an interview without crying, what you, you, you have a terrible background? What I do, I do. You're the heir to the big fortune. I, God, I know. But you know how hard what it is. What did they do to you? I have four brothers okay. and we lived in. There's Dick Dick. Okay, Dick Bick. Dick Bick. Me, Dick Rick Pick Bick. Bick. There's big. No, he did get involved big, in a scandal like that. And that was there's, a, there's little little Dick Bick. Okay, little Dick, little Dick Bick. There's okay. big Bick Dick. Okay, yeah. big Dick Bick. Slick Dick Bick. Slick Dick Bick. And smooth, and, then, and smooth Dick Bick. Smooth Dick Bick, and then Rick Bick, of Rick course. Bick, of but course. what's your real name? Is it? It's Dick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't want to have everybody like you know ripping it apart in the headlines, like the New York Post or anything. So like your that. parents named you all some Dick. variation of Dick. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, roughly. Okay. Uh, so anyway, I came up uh, the hard way. I have four brothers. We lived in um, we lived in Aspen for for the winters, and we we vacationed in um, the Bahamas, and um, for most of the summers, and we went Seems to like you Gest- would, vice versa. That like what? <laughs> go to the Bahamas during the winter. I know that's the kind <laughs> that's the of thing. problem that <laughs> I was thing. having. His so parents had no idea. No where to idea take how them. to book vacations. I barely was able to vacate the right way. So you're in the coldest place you could be in during the, the winter time. and the hottest place you could yeah. be during the summer. And Aspen I, in the winter is a hell. And I've it only had, hell. Mm. I've only had two personal assistants growing up. Mm. 
Wait, are you one of them, by the way, uh, Dick Butterfield? Your name's Dick as well, by the way. It's confusing around the dinner table, especially if you want someone to pass you something. Pass you're you're going to the dinner table with him, Dick Butterfield? I'm, well, I'm not allowed to eat dinner with my... We don't put him at the dinner table. Where do you put him? We put him at the kids' table. Okay, who else is there? Uh, we have a dog. Okay, so just you and the dog? And are you one of the ch- one of the childhood personal assistants? Yes, I've been with I've been with Dick Bick for several several years. Yeah. Okay, and I've seen him had to endure this vacation related hell. Mm-hmm. What Trauma. is what is your bra- background like? Were you just White. a, a ch- sure? But were you a ch- everyone can tell White. that. Were you a childhood White friend? White is of- the day is long. Uh-huh. No, he wasn't a friend. He was a servant. Okay. But you've known each other. So yeah. how, how much older are you, Dick? If you're asking if I'm a public masturbator, no. <laughs> okay. Not anymore. Are you? Uh, you did, okay. Why? Wait, anymore? Wait a minute. Why? Because it doesn't interest me anymore. Okay? Sure. Don't. Was there a point where I masturbated in botanical gardens, water parks, All Christmas the places tree that farms, you named before. Okay. I was wondering how that list came so... Roller coasters. Yeah. Did I mention water parks? Pet farms. Sh- pet farms. Sure. I used to be into that. But now I'm not. What Water happened? parks How- really sh- shouldn't be a part of a public masturbation because I feel like everyone should be. Doing yeah, free. Yeah, free that, free I mean, look, really, you know, yeah. if you can pee in that pool, let's. You should be able to amen, do whatever you want. Amen. They should make a movie about. That. Amen. You said. Amen. <laughs> amen. So what? With Sherman Helmsley. Uh, what changed for you? You used to do this at the same time, guys, looking at each other. Or I what? Just, did- uh, you know, my heart wasn't in it anymore after so much public masturbation. There's mm. only so many uh, public places they can turn it's you. It's like on. when you climb Everest. That's right. What yeah. was the hardest place to do it in? Oh, uh, I would say a library. It's very I do hard. Wanna, that's, of, that's the one that everyone the, does. Well, because of the noise restrictions. You're not yeah. allowed to make noise. I'm but, a that, very but under my leadership, we will take away the, the harsh sentencing for public masturbation. Okay, and I don't know that I And even though that's something I'm not, I'm not doing it anymore, but why do we have to keep everyone uh, handcuffed in this society? Yeah, well, you were handcuffed? Uh, well, that's you, the best way to do it. Were you guys arrested? Wait, you were handcuffed while you were masturbating? Oh, yes, of course. Why are you objecting to it then? Well, because, I mean, uh, you know, I, I, it was my choice to bring the handcuffs. Okay. I don't, but, wait, what's the other part of the handcuff on? Your penis? or No, no, both of my hands. Oh, okay. I so don't know, I don't know but, what you're... But in. make that... Obviously, look at your hands when they're handcuffed. They, they, they form themselves into a perfect I masturbation. I mean, that's why in the Back of a squad nature's car. masturbating nature, tool. Nature's masturbating. That's tool. why you know if I was a, po- a police officer, I'd probably say, "Hey, just you know, wank one out back there, relax, because you're going to go to jail for some time and just have some privacy." Okay, yeah, like that. that's you're close why, to being a police officer. That's well, why for I, all the, I did see training day twice for all the cops that are listening. That's why you Drum should King Kong. always put their hands behind their back. You know wow. what? A giant. That's why you do that. I, I feel like if they let King Kong masturbate in public, he would have not have. Climbed King that Kong ma- was not masturbating in public. Well, that's but, if he did it. Maybe he wouldn't have climbed that building and stole that lady. You think? that he was climbing the building because he had a raging heart on? <laughs> he ought to hide it. He has his pants. Okay. <laughs> He's embarrassed. Oh, all New he York was, City is seeing this. Yeah, he was clutching the building. He's getting the behind this. It's his, yeah. his man business. Yeah, you know? I can and, understand that. Yeah, of course. Of yeah, course. I, I get mean. it. So so uh, you guys are childhood buddies, it seems like. I love it. When we're just here to, you know, <laughs> love it. we're just here to raise money. Hopefully, people wait, are, you're raising money, okay? For people the campaign, are, people we we have in. fourteen million dollars raised already. And, and how, how much of that came from the big family? Uh, fourteen million. Fourteen million. Okay. Fourteen million. Okay. But yeah. uh, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, what we should do. We should just to raise more money. We should uh, just take more money from your family. All right. From you know. Yeah, I, mean, I guess. Is there I mean, a bottomless well? I mean, yes. I mean it goes absolutely. on and on and on. I mean, absolutely. We don't. We're a thrifty bunch. <laughs> What does your family do, Butterfield? They're all dead. They're all dead. What happened? They were all mysteriously murdered by big pens. (laughs) Big pens in their throats and in their hearts. And we cannot... And we will not it's a damn shame. rest until we get to the bottom. We are of trying who to figure it out. My family. Okay. You, but they if made you him have an any information, please. Oh, you did make a You're contact, standing above me, shaking your fist. Contact nine one one if you what? have any. Why not you guys? We set up a private hotline. The private so. hotline is nine one one. Okay. You can uh, dial it at any all. time. And give them tips to the murder of my family. Okay, what were the clues at the scene? Big oh, pens big pen. jabbed okay. into the necks, faces, and throats of okay. everyone in well, my Well, it seems to me like, you know, there's a guy who has access to a lot of who? big pens. Who? Do you know Gilda's parents? <laughs> Gilda? Who killed? Gilda? Oh, killed them. Do I know Gilda's parents well, or who killed his parents? I, who I killed them? Both have valid uh, questions, <laughs> but I would say killed. Now, you know, do you know Gilda's parents? I, I will tell you, I will tell you that whoever did it, was smart 
Hmm. And left trace amounts of semen at the scene. Oh, semen? At, wait, what, at what age did they die? How old were you? Just recently. Oh, okay. Just recently. They were all murdered in one night. <laughs> okay. Well, it was a shame because right before I ran for campaign, I asked him to come along as campaign manager. He said he had to take care of his parents. My, you fa- know. my family was very sick. They all had colds. And uh, and I said, I'm not allergies or something. I said, I'm not available to manage your campaign. And then the next day, tragically, my family was all murdered by. And when you say trace amounts of semen, how much semen? are Tons and tons of semen. (laughs) Okay. Uh, Imagine, imagine the biggest number in the world. What's the biggest number, you know, a a a trillion. Okay, now double that. Two trillion. Yes. Wow. Two trillion semen. Two trillion semen. So like Which a is drop. just basically, yeah, just basically, <laughs> it can fill up a small, like, a vial. Vial. Mm-hmm. But no, but it Speaking was, of vial, this is the worst story I've ever heard. <laughs> you think that's funny? Oh. Well, it's in the past. No. Thank what, goodness. that joke was in the past? No, this whole episode, yeah. I mean, the whole, you know, affair is in the past. His parents are dead, big deal. I want to talk about. Here he goes. He's going to get serious. And get on my, my soapbox here. Yeah, oh boy. Mm-hmm. Okay, we should build a wall between Mexico and the United States, right? Where do you have that? Oh. Well, I don't, we don't have a wall. We have, like, fences and stuff. What's what? the difference between a fence and a wall? I guess the, the material out of which it's made. Well, that's my, that's my point. If we're going to build this wall, who, who's going to build it? Okay. Uh, yeah. Who's going to build it? It's a, yeah, I've heard that joke. It's not heard, a joke. It's a. It's, I've heard it, a, a lot of comedians lay claim to that joke. Uh, it's, it is a point of view that okay. you know I think uh, articulates a lot of different things. Okay. Yeah. Why are you crying? Just don't know who's going to build that wall. <laughs> Why do you care? I want someone to build that wall. All right, you want the wall, but you don't know who's going to build gonna it. Who's going to build it? All right, stop. By the way, stop taking off your belt. <laughs> what is what is happening right now? I just can we get some people in here, please? Dude, maybe people. It would be, maybe it'd be uh, better. We just have one engineer. I just would love to get a couple. More I'm people. someone. Yeah, but I want it's, it's, it's the thrill like, of a stranger. Well, I don't know what you're referring to, but if we had a couple more people in here, I think we could have some fun. Okay. What were you going to say, Dick Butterfield? Well, I was just going to suggest that we close with the song. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. The campaign song. All right. I'd I love recently, to hear it. I recently wrote a pretty catchy campaign You wrote song. this. Yeah. Okay. And we can see it on, on uh, Mr. Bick's commercials and the like? Yeah. It's on it's on Rick Dick for president. Rick Bick for president. <laughs> Rick Dick for president. I mean, we Rick bought, Bick for president. We bought a bunch of different domains. So if you just type <laughs> if in. If you're just con- a confused person, just type anything in. Dick Bick. Rick Dick Dick Pick dot com Dick Pick, pick Smick Dick Slick Dick Slick Dick Pick Little Dick uh, Little We did dick it on GoDaddy. I'll tell you, I, I I went to that GoDaddy site. No one was naked. They always are tempting. They're always saying, "Hey, come check out the rest of this." Nothing. 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 Yeah, I know. Yeah. Dana Patrick, you tease. <laughs> so we wrote a song. All right, let's hear this here song. Is. Here it is. All go. right, here we go. Do you need any any kind of music, or do you uh, need? I think I can do the music. I'll, I'll do the intro part. Okay. Then, here we go. All right. President of the United States of America, there'll be fun times and pizza. We'll talk about dinosaurs, and it will be a good time to and all of you to take out your dicks and masturbate. Wait a second. Hold on. Hold Sorry, on. You wrote this, I, Dick? <laughs> I wrote the first couple lines about uh, uh-huh. pizza free, and, kind of and stuff like form. that. Okay. I, I don't know. You I, wrote the pizza and dinosaurs? Yeah, I wrote the pizza and dinosaur stuff. I didn't write the let's take out our dicks and masturbate. Oh, oh okay. yeah. I just kind of was having fun. I feel like everyone was vibing on it. Yeah, I don't you know. know. I, if we're not feeling it, we don't. That's, how, did it go, how did your version go? Go ahead, give me, the, give me the give me the very dun, first. Dun, dun. <laughs> yeah, but give me the first couple lines just to remind me. I'll just to get be the, key. the president. Yeah, I'll yeah. be the president. Okay. And what was the second part? Uh, we'll have so much fun. We'll have so much fun eating pizza. Eating pizza and having fun. Talking about dinosaurs. Talking, Talking about, about dinosaurs. dinosaurs. And then this is where it would diverge. Yep. Lacrosse teams that like to have their ball sacks tickled. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Yeah, both of you, neither of you, uh, have a, a, f- a firm grasp on what the campaign song should be. I, I'm afraid to say. Vote, Jeez. Well, it's, vote easy, it's easy to criticize, I guess, when you're not running for president. Look at your hands! 
Everyone listening, look at your hands. There's nothing in there. 90% hands. chance it's a pick. All right, we have to go to a break. We'll be right back. Look with your bang. hands. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we're back here, and uh, we have uh, Rob Hubel and Paul Shear came back. Uh, you guys left for a whole segment. And these yeah, these two snacks, really right. interesting people with what happened? Fun voices to Did listen to. Did you see? To. Uh, I saw that was Rick Bick. The, uh, the you know Rick Bick? I do. Is that him in the elevator? I actually am a supporter of his campaign. Oh, oh really? Wow. Yeah, did you ever hear his point of view about the uh, the wall? He has a very fun okay, idea. About I don't want to hear oh, no, this no, joke no. again. I didn't yeah. like any of. Uh, I went on his website, uh, Slick Dick, or his website yeah. is ludicrous. By the way, 